Oh, it's another oh. Focus. oh. No buds. All right, we, uh, we are unboxing all of the inventory that we ordered from Japan over the last couple months. This is our biggest order that we've ever gotten. Um, yeah, we've got a really crazy selection of stuff that we've ordered from Japan. Don't buy the Honda Long Coat. It's already spoken for. I'm going to be there <laughs> at midnight or whatever time. What's the daytime of midnight? Noon! December 2nd, a Friday, sometime in the afternoon, evening, PST, so probably like 5 or 6 p.m. PST, all this stuff's gonna go live. And you will be fighting Sandra if you want the Honda Long Coat. Can we just tell everyone this is our office? Yeah, it is. And thanks for the 3,000 views on our videos, it's paid for all this. <laughs> <laughs> Three burly employees. <laughs> Dude. You think we got scammed from Amazon? <laughs> Dude, Amazon fully scammed us on this thing. The picture had like scams. <laughs> <laughs> How much did we spend on that? Uh, I don't think it was very much. I think it was like 30 bucks, which we probably should have known better. It's like a fucking bed Dude, sheet though. Look what I just spotted on this helmet. This is, okay, this is for sure a motorcycle helmet. And somebody got their mom's label printer and just wrote racing car helmet on it. This is a bed sheet. That is and they were like, they were like, yeah, this thing's a backdrop. I thought it was going to be a roll of paper. I'm, you know what? I'm going to screenshot the thing we ordered and put it in the video so you can see what we thought we bought. Yeah, I can try. Yeah, so this is not our ideal scenario for shooting inventory. This is kind of what we're working with. We bought some studio lights and we got a white wall so trying to keep everything uniform to the way it was. After some ghetto massaging with lights and obviously making the ground white just in case we have like long coats and shit, I think we've replicated what we had before uh, on a very much more ghetto form. So... Don't call him ghetto. What are you doing? I'm fucking flattening the sheet. Oh, I thought I... <laughs> I thought you were modeling! <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you... Yeah, I thought you were trying to sleep. And I don't love being in a fucking bunker hallway but you know what sometimes you just got to do what you got to do this is all we got so all right this is the not exciting part of all the exciting stuff that we do which is spreadsheets and google docs and trying to figure out sizing descriptions pricing that makes sense for you know not ripping you off but also making sure that we eat at night um Sleep at night, eat at night, eat, sleep, JDM, clutch kick, power over. Man's gotta eat. It's sad. What's sad? Our setup. Oh, fucking sick. Yeah, this one is dope. It's like, it's, well, technically it's an extra free, which is like XL. I don't know. It's, uh, it's pretty long. It's, uh, pretty thin, so it'd be good for like summertime and maybe putting a hoodie underneath it, but. Yeah, this one's gangster, like for sure. It feels like brand new, like there's no wear and tear on this one and super, super sick size, so. Yeah, this is pretty dope, good size. I think this is a large, ready jacket, nice and thin. Again, probably good for like summer or like fall. I don't think this will keep you like super warm, but it's super dope. And it's like brand new. Oh, that's cool. What do you think? This one? Yeah. Yeah, it's really dope. Can I see the back? Oh, yeah. That's, that's tight. What size would you say that is? Large. Large? Yeah. It looks new, too. Like, it's really nice. Yeah, good good it's in shape. It's really good condition. There's no fraying on any of these. Yeah. It's pretty good. Already? <laughs> Let everyone know this one's accounted for. <laughs> It's Teflon, you can fry an egg. What size? Uh, Looks nice. Can you back over here for me? Car like nope. How do you call a size Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's nice. Do a 360. Woo! Dude, like, this thing's pretty sick. I feel like the dudes from Night Ride would love this. <laughs> Is this like Polish? Like would you drift an E36 while wearing this? Would, would the Polish people be in culture? Right are we appropriating culture or are we just respecting them for how cool they are? And this is pretty cool, so send this to Night Ride. Three Get balls. Sam to buy this. This would fit you, Sam. Sam. Yeah. This would. This is a large for sure. Like, this would fit me or Jake. If you're like.
heavy set, you probably wouldn't fit into this well, but if you're just like tall and lanky, this would fit you good. Pretty thick. Um, so like, yeah, if you're like 5'10 to 6'1 and sub 200 pounds, this was probably like a perfect fit for you. Right. We've done three Adidas racing suits. Here we go. <laughs> last three runs including this one so this is number three we've sold the other two but this is like without a doubt the most gas one we've ever gotten so yeah whoever ends up with this is gonna it's got be like a bit of a shine like you can't really see it oh you can see it right yeah, there but yeah, it's, it's like shiny it does have a sheen to it i don't like if you if you have this and you show up to a drift event in this like you're definitely like the steesiest person there like uh, no sandra you can't buy every single <laughs> item i want to buy it though <laughs> This, this, this is the hobby this shop is, all over again. This is the hobby shop. I honestly, though, like that is our dilemma. Like we bring in these whole runs, and then we all have to get into like a fist fight with each other to prevent us from like selling all of our inventory right. amongst ourselves and then not providing you guys with anything. So. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm not filming like all of the stuff. Like there's so so much stuff and all this stuff, but all the crazy, crazy stuff, stuff I'm gonna if, film. If you want to see everything that we have by the time you're watching this, which is like two days before we drop this all on December second. For sure, it'll all be live on our website. Well, sorry, not live. It'll be posted on our website, but not purchasable yet. So you can go there, you can see everything that we have, the prices, the sizes, figure out what you want, and then whatever the time we're going to be dropping this at, just make sure you're sitting there with the refresh button ready to go. Uh, that's going to be me buying this damn tracksuit. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God, we'll get a steak. We'll get a steak at the very end. Really cool. Damn. Oh yeah, this is a dope jacket. Tens of G3. Super cool, like the colorway is so dope. This is dope, another another TRD shell. Good size too. What would you say this is, Jake, like a large? Yeah, I'd say it's about a large, yeah. It's uh, Japanese free, so. We yeah, have this one's so sick. Ray Dude, this is sick. You uh, call it Ray Brig? Is it not Ray Brig? It is Ray Brig. Okay, I was like, you were hey, look, look at the Look at the inside. Just... You guys are tripping me out so hard. Man, this is a really nice jacket. It looks it, warm, it, like, too. Like, the lining feels so lush. Yeah, it, it's, it's. So it's, lush. The it's stitching thick. is kind of Brother. weird, though, eh? Brother, even the pockets. Look at the stitching. Well, it's, stitching it's, it's is super, super weird. weird. But it, it looks, like, it it. It looks strong. Yeah. Like it's double. Oh, yeah. Like it's embroidered on both sides. That's yeah. really cool. This is a really yeah, nice jacket. Like, this is really put together well. This definitely is like Japan making things nicer than they need to for no reason other than them just having really high standards. Yeah. Ray Brig. Ray Brig. It's in almost perfect condition. What would like, you say? 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10, man. To Sandra. So, Sard. Sard does all sorts of cool stuff in Japan, obviously. Um, I actually get really excited about this stuff because it has a bunch of cool MR2 heritage. So the Sard MC8 was an MR2, but with a UZ V8 put in the middle that was built for like GT class racing in Japan. And like so many race cars, they had to build a road going version of it so they could like homologate the fact that a road going version existed so they could actually get away with building it as like a racing version of a street car, even though it's completely the opposite. Like they built a street version of a race car, which I just think is the coolest thing. Also another fun fact, Cole's S15, like the Sea West car that we filmed ages ago, the beautiful gold fuel rail that he put on that SR that he's building is made by these guys. So they they manufactured like cool aftermarket parts for all sorts of Japanese platforms, but their specialty definitely was in Toyota. So right. like, like this would have been a jacket that would have been from Sard Racing. And like these are all the different brands that would have been sponsored on the build. And all this stuff is super cool. It's all embroidered onto the jacket, like super, super high quality. Like the netting inside, it's gorgeous. The shine to the jacket's super cool. So, uh, oh, negative is okay. That's really sick. It looks big. Like I think that could even fit you, eh? It, that's large for sure. Like, oh, it looks good. The colors. Make too. sure to smell the gooch. Does that? <laughs> we actually bought like when we bought that suit. We didn't just buy it by itself. Like we actually bought it as a collection Where's of racing suit? goods. Like we're obviously selling all this stuff separately, but this came from somebody's personal collection of racing goods. There was multiple Ugh. racing suits. There was racing shoes, like what Sandra's holding right now. Green. Bowling. Everything like <laughs> helmet, balaclava, like all sorts of stuff. Like, yeah, this is super sweet. Um, this is actually the biggest run of steering wheels we've ever gotten from Japan in one go. Um, and Jake's done a really good job getting a wide variety of stuff from some of the uh, more uh, price friendly options like this with a bit of wear and tear to actual like brand new Momo prototipos. This ATC wheel is super cool. Jake was actually explaining to me that these are the guys that make all the vertex wheels, which is kind of sick. 
And uh, yeah, you can see like we've got the classic Nardis as well as just a, a wide array of different steering wheels. So basically anything you're looking for and something in this run will probably fit your build nicely. Dude, that's sick. What if someone already has a metal plate in their fucking head? Yeah, that's true. Double. I like magnetize or like, you know, you go, go through the x-ray at the airport and you're just getting dinged or your metal Yeah, do you think they'll let you through in the airport with this shit? I don't know, man. It's pretty fire, so. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, move that out of the way. This is super sweet because uh, th these are items that we've actually never had in our store before. Uh, these are really popular in the Decatur community. If, if you don't know what Decatur is, you're totally missing out. It's those crazy decked out trucks in Japan with like chrome everywhere, lights everywhere, like funny murals on the side, really cool style. And uh, what's sweet is like the drifting community in Japan has sort of started to pull inspiration from those trucks and where like one of those trucks would have like 10 of these lights down the side, drift guys have been like pulling pairs of these off of like those trucks or from the shops that sell these parts and then running them as side markers. So yeah, we've got uh, a couple pairs in a couple different colors. Um, and yeah, it's just a universal fit. Like you just add this to your car as a side marker or maybe a funny interior light or something. I mean, right. sky's the limit. You do what you think is cool and modify your car with cool star lights. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, super quick video today, but we thought it'd be cool to show you guys uh, kind of the back end of what we do with Checkpoint. Um, Cause I think there's probably a lot of people that have come to this channel cause they saw videos like mountain drifting or us hanging out with the moist boys on the island or what have you. And you probably don't know, or maybe you don't know that this is a big element of what we do. We bring stuff over from Japan, we put it on our website and we sell it worldwide. So um, yeah, thanks for checking it out. Um, go on our, <laughs> Pepsi. go on our website. Uh, the store will be linked in the description of this video. Um, yeah, basically if you're watching this, we're going to be going live with all this stuff in two days. So yeah, check out what we've got on there. See if there's something you like, check the sizes. And if it is, make sure you tune in for the drop and see if you are the first person in line to grab some rare jacket or cool steering wheel for your car or what other accessory we've got. Jake's, but, Jake's the 2am gremlin that found all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, we read all your encouraging comments. It means a lot to us. Send our channel or our website to one of your friends that you think would be into this kind of stuff. It helps us grow. And uh, yeah, the more we grow and the more you guys push our stuff, the more cool content we're able to make, the more cool stuff we're able to bring over from Japan. So yeah, we couldn't do it if it wasn't for the amazing community that's come around us. And we're excited to keep seeing that community grow. Boom! Boom! Boom.